What's going on, you guys? Mr. Allen here. We're about to graph f of x equals that bad boy right there. We're going to use x-intercepts and y-intercepts to do so. And to get those x-intercepts, I'm going to have to factor this bad boy by grouping. we got four terms. I'm going to go with grouping here. So if I group them up and I get my GCF here, it's going to be x squared and leaves me with x plus 5. Over here, I'm going to take out a negative 9. Anytime that first one in the second group there is negative, I'm going to take a negative out with it. And that leaves me with x plus 5. Oh, this is fantastic. Those two bad boys match up. We're going to take them out. And it's going to be x plus 5. And then I'm going to have x squared minus 9. Now, this is bonus time, folks. Bonus time. I got a binomial there. It is a difference of two squares, which means I get to keep on factoring. Woo! Woo! I love when I get to keep on factoring, dogs. All right, so we get x plus 5 here. And I got x minus 3, x plus 3. Now I have this bad boy completely factored. I can get all my x-intercepts, which are going to be x equals negative 5, x equals positive 3, and x equals negative 3. Beautiful. Let's plot, let's plot them right over here. We got uh, negative 5. Woo! We got negative 3. Yeah. We got positive 3. Woo! And what is my y-intercept? My y-intercept is going to be negative 45. So I'm just going to go, go ahead and label this as 0, comma, negative 45. How do I get that? If I substitute in 0 for all my x's, it'll give me my y-intercept. And it's real easy in standard form like this or general form like this, where if I plug in 0, all those terms cancel, leaving me with just negative 45. They don't really cancel. They go away because they're equal to 0, right? So I get 0, comma, negative 45. Now... I've got a positive cubic function. Reminder, a positive cubic function will look something kind of like that right there. So I got a woo. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. This is not necessarily a minimum, okay? I'm going to go through it a little bit and then and then bounce back up just, just for fun. Ah, woo. Oh my God, that was that was kind of terrible right there. That was a little terrible. I meant to I meant to go a little lower. So you know what? It's all right though. We got ourselves a lovely little cubic function here. Less than desirable graph, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the L on that one, but it's still there. We got everything. We connected the dots. It's wonderful. You guys are wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you later.